and welcome to another episode of Summer School with Ashley Blessing. I hope you enjoy learning the memory verse with action and making your craft. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this Sabbath. Thank you for blessing us. I pray you continue to keep us always and help us as we learn the, the lesson for this week and also help us as we do our craft. We pray for all the people that will watch this video. Please bless them and keep them always. In Jesus' name, amen. Our memory verse for this week is from John 14, 1. And it says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Now, let's learn the action. Do not, do not let your heart, do not let your heart be troubled. Be troubled. You believe in God. You believe in God. Believe also in me. Believe also in me. You know why we're doing this? Because Jesus is the one talking, and so we're pointing to Jesus. Let's do it all together. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Let's do it one more time. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. John 14, 1. Now let's practice it all together one last time. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. John 14, 1. Now you may practice the action until you memorize the verse. The title of the story for this week is Whose side are you on? Whose side are you on? I have a question for you. Have you ever been part of a program where you had to maybe like memorize something? So maybe in your church, you were part of the Sabbath school and you had to say the memory verse. Or, okay, like this Sabbath, September 18th, is the Pathfinder Sabbath and people have programs in their churches. So let's say you're an adventurer and it's Adventurer Sabbath in your church. And then you have to recite the law or the Adventurer Pledge. And then you need to remember, you're like, God help me to remember, I don't want to forget. I don't want to embarrass myself. I don't want to mess up. It's a very important program, right? And you want to do it right. The man in our story for this week also felt like that. He had a very important mission and he wanted to get it right. Now let's listen to the story about this man. So the man we're talking about is Joshua. Joshua has been given the responsibility by God to lead the uh, children of Israel into the promised land. Now Moses was dead. So it was up to Joshua to listen to God and lead the people. So on this day, Joshua walked between the tents of the people and he was trying to get to the edge of the camp, to go outside of the camp. So when he got to the outside of the camp, he got to the Jordan River. And this Jordan River, they had crossed it just a few um, days ago and this river was so swollen that is there was like lots of water in it that the Lord had to make a miracle for them to pass on dry land so as he got to um, the edge of the river he looked over the camp again and he saw the camp the people of Israel spread out and he saw the walls of Jericho conquering Jericho is the first step to going into the promised land and the walls were so tall 
that they he had no idea how they were going to be able to conquer that seed. So all these were on Joshua's mind. Not only was he worried about the um, big city walls and how they're going to conquer it, the Israelites were not prepared for war. They didn't even have proper weapons. So he was just there and pacing and thinking, Lord, what am I going to do? Suddenly, someone stood in front of Joshua with his sword. And then Joshua walked up to the person and then he asked this person, Whose side are you on? Ours or our enemies? To Joshua, if this person was on their side or a soldier from the Israelite camp, he was going to scold the person because they were not supposed to leave the camp. And if this person was from the enemy, he was ready to fight. But then the person answered, Neither. I am here as the commander of the Lord's army. <gasps> suddenly, suddenly Joshua realized this was not an ordinary soldier. This was the Lord himself. And then he fell at the feet of this man. I am your servant, sir. What do you want me to do? That was what Joshua said as he bowed before the soldier. Take your sandals off. You are standing on holy ground said the commander to Joshua. So Joshua removed his sandals and worshipped the Lord. But this time he was so relieved because he had been thinking about what they're going to do and how they're going to fight and conquer the city. But now he has come to realize that the battle is the Lord's. So he didn't have to worry. The plans were already made and the Lord was in charge. So Joshua didn't have to bear the responsibility of leadership alone. The Lord was here. His awesome God was with him. He was so relieved. Just like Joshua, when we realize the presence of God around us, we can be relieved that we don't have to carry all the burdens that we go through in life on our own. The Lord will help us through all that we have to do. He has made the plans all we have to do is just to follow him. And that is the story for this week. So in our story, remember that somebody appeared to Joshua to give him comfort that the battle they're about to fight is already taken care of. And who was the person? Mm-hmm the commander of the army of the Lord. So today we're going to make this craft. It's very simple, but I did some like measurements to be able to get a perfect square. Still, it's not perfect on the paper. But the craft is very simple, and you just um, make the square, and then you write, the battle is the Lord's. And you make a sword, like I did. And then you glue it there. And that's the craft. Now you may watch the video on how I made this craft. Um, for the first step, you're going to draw a sword. So you draw a small sword and then um, you cut it out. I'm using a ruler just because I want the lines to be straight and I want it to look good. But you can just, you know, freestyle, just draw with your hand. Um, so after cutting out the sword uh, that you drew, um, you're going to cut um, four um, strips of equal papers. I'm using a ruler to like measure and stuff because I just uh, want straight lines and straight um, strips that are um, same size. But you don't have to go through all of that, just cut paper. <laughs> After cutting the four strips of paper from one color, 
then you take the second color of paper and um, you cut a square again I'm using the ruler because I want at least like almost perfect square but you don't have to do that just um, cut the square shape from the paper so um, after cutting the square shape um, I used a craft scissors to cut the edges of the square paper just to like have a decorative edge you don't have to do that if you don't have a craft scissors so you just um, use the scissor to get the decorative edge um, so now you're going to arrange the strips and the squares together as you're going to see in the video so you put the um, strip together in the form of a square and then you glue them you glue them together then you glue the other paper the, the square on top of it so that the strips are like a border for the other uh, kind of for the other paper okay even with all my measurements my edges are not straight <laughs> anyways so now it's time to write um, on the paper the battle is the Lord's the battle is the Lord's that is what you're going to write then you glue the sword so that's just a simple craft but now you're going to make um, holes uh, with a punch and then tie the yarn so that you can hang up the craft somewhere in your house to always remind you that the battle is the Lord's and you do not have to worry about fighting your battles. And that is the end of our craft. See you next week.